Hey folks, welcome to Testing Hacks. Today we are going to see what is database testing. You must be knowing database is a structured way of arranging our or storing our data. Without a database, our application cannot be fully functional. So in this video, we will understand what is database testing and what is the importance of it. Before we begin the video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Let's begin. The database can be considered as the heart of any software application. So making sure that it is functioning correctly is essential. As it is mentioned that database is considered heart of any software application because all the transaction, whatever we perform will get stored in the database and we will fetch from the database to make sure that the data is correct or not. So uh, for that reason, it is called as the heart of any application without a database uh, uh, an application cannot be fully functional database testing is a process of checking that everything is in order with regards to the database database testing involves checking things such as schema tables or even triggers all this will be verified as part of the database testing Along with uh, that, we will check the data, whatever we passed is present or not and how well it has been organized in the, our database using the tables. The process also checks data integrity and the consistency. When doing a complete database test, you need to test the user interface layer, business layer, data access layer and database itself so to uh, understand this let me uh, show you an example of uh, or a structure suppose whenever you are using any of your applications through mobile or else through your desktop that particular layer is called as presentation layer or the interface layer through which you will interact with the application so after that, whenever suppose you are filling a form, you will enter all the data and click on submit. Then behind the scene, what happens, you will not be aware of. So what happens is it will uh, go and ch uh, check that particular uh, form, whatever you have filled in the application layer. If there are any errors, it will avoid you then and there itself. Okay. This business layers um, or application layers functionality is to check the data correctness right so if all the data is correct whatever you have passed then it will go and sit in the database that is one particular one single transaction that will happen and that will get written onto the database and in the same way suppose you have a form you have to log in through that so you will be uh, navigated to the next screens in that case, you will enter the user ID and password. What the uh, database will do is, what the server will do is, it will communicate with the database and it will check the correctness of the username and password that you have entered. If it is valid, then it will allow you. Otherwise, it will not allow you further, right? So you must have uh, seen that, right? So this is a simple structure of how a database uh, will come into picture in these three layers this is also known as an three tier architecture applications rely on a fully functioning database to, to store and create information as well as respond to queries it is complete a complete picture you will get whenever we have database in place the key focus of database testing is to make sure that the values and the information stored in the database are accurate um, whenever we have given we will be given any application right we will uh, perform uh, uh, the functions through the applications and then we will check the, the database whether whatever the transaction that we have made is working fine or not for example if you take any e-commerce application you will place an order you can place an order from the UI and 
you can verify the same in database whether all the data and information that we have stored is working fine or not because a particular module is interrelated to another module too so this data will be consumed by other modules as well so the data correctness is also very much important without proper database testing an application may have hidden faults when using the software this could mean that the data is lost not created or incorrectly stored this could have major impact or major effect on the overall experience and effectiveness of the application as i just mentioned about any e-commerce application or anything in that matter any application in that matter if there is uh, the data that we are passing is not correct then the same thing will be stored in the database and that will have tremendous effect on on the application or the user itself so that's the reason especially in case of banking application where money is involved all these are very crucial kind of applications right so in that case the database testing must be done effectively so why database is important uh, testing is important then so we saw what things will affect in case of just the database having the database what things we can do so but we will understand why database testing is important database testing is important because it enables user to validate data mapping data integrity and asset property asset property is nothing but automaticity consistency isolation and durability these properties along with the business rules conformity we can verify all these things with our database whenever we have any application through which we perform something and then we will go and check all these things in the database first we will understand what is data mapping in database system the data travels from the user interface to the database this movement can also be in the opposite direction whenever you are creating any data then it will go and sit in the opposite direction in the sense suppose if you want to log in that is in reverse case you are fetching the data from the database in that case right so it is actually a major interaction between the user interface which is the front end and the back end to the database this movement is uh, uh, you know very much important and next is database testing verifies whether data appearing in table at the user interface uh, is mapped well in the database at the corresponding table you are whenever you are filling a form you will go and check in the database where you will check you will check in the particular table database is just a space but you have to create a table for that to store all the information that you have in that form so each of the corresponding data you will verify from ui and a database to make sure that the mapping is correct or not suppose if you are entering any uh, product list in that case the same should be uh, mapped to the database and uh, the same column should be filled in so that if you are filling any uh, suppose say you are filling your age but if it is going and sitting in a transaction uh, in the database in the column say uh, in in case of age it is going and sitting in the date of birth something it is actually a mismatch this correctness should be very much important data integrity data integrity tests involve an evolution of the operation methods and process used for managing updating and accessing the database uh, data integrity it is also an uh, important thing whenever we store any data to the database and uh, whenever we update anything access anything it is collectively called as crud operation okay which is creating retrieving updating and deleting so this crud operations can be performed on a particular database or the particular table this data management is called as data integrity asset property asset property makes sure the automaticity consistency isolation and durability right 
in case of automaticity what happens is the transaction can generate two main types of results either it can be pass or fail um, suppose you fill the form and click on submit button if it is successful the data will be stored into the database which is a complete proper transaction if it fails then the data will not be written into the database correct so that is what automaticity is we will make sure uh, we are able to store the particular data properly into the database with the automaticity consistency is when this indicates that the validity of the database will remain once the transaction is finalized what does it mean you will perform some actions and check the database for the first time the value should be same and if you come and see the same data for the nth time it should be same that consistency should be maintained over the database isolation various transactions can be done without affecting each other if you have um, a transaction already made and you are trying to make another transaction it should not affect the previously made transaction right that is isolation durability any changes regarding a transaction will be saved without adverse effect on external factors suppose in case of power failure or something goes wrong in that case uh, it should commit okay it should commit the particular uh, transaction and then you have to verify that particular case as well along with that you have to make sure another thing which is concurrency which i have not mentioned here concurrency is nothing but whenever you are doing parallel transaction at the same time in case of e-commerce applications or banking application there are many customers with the, where they are performing the same kind of transaction at the same time at that time how the database is handled is important right so all these things can be checked as part of concurrency also and the last thing what we have to keep in mind is the business rules database testing helps in testing whether the database conforms to the business rules business rules also plays an important role whenever we have any requirement the same requirement as per the same requirement itself it will be implemented the correctness along with the correctness we have to think that whether whatever we are um, supposed to do we are doing that or not the same data is getting stored in database or not testers use sql queries to validate components such as triggers procedures and relational constraints so writing the queries itself we will get to know that how the data has been stored and how uh, it is retrieving and there can be a relationship between one table and another table all this uh, data will be consumed from one table to another table it could be referring from this table to another table so for that reason we have to completely and collectively verify the database so this is all about the database testing if you have liked the video please do like share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching bye bye